Welcome back to more of the game of Mind of Sam Bam Let's Play of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. I was really hoping that was going to be a Growlithe, like immediately, but not quite, unfortunately. That's okay. I have a question for anyone who's watching this. If you feel like answering, obviously. If you don't want to answer, that's totally fine. But I'm just curious. Are there any games out there that you enjoy watching, but you won't play or have no interest in playing? I'm curious because I don't know if that's just some weird thing that I do or if other people do that too. Like I've been, I've actually been enjoying watching people playing Dead by Daylight, but that is a game I not only have no plans of ever, I have like no real interest in playing, but I don't think I actually could play the game because it requires such, it seems to require like incredibly good vision. No matter if you're playing as the killer or if you're playing as a survivor. It just seems like it would be impossible for someone like me to play. So I'm just curious, but I really enjoy watching the game being played, whether it's by, whether it's someone from a killer perspective or if it's from survivor's perspective. It's a really interesting game. It's it's one of those things that I'm curious, another thing I'm curious about that, and I probably should ask one of my friends who plays the game um, on a regular basis, is I don't know if there's any sort of like if there's like a mode that where you can play with like computer players or if it has to be um, all human players all the time. I don't know. Like if there's a way where you can play with like bots or if you could, or if there was a way where you could like play specifically with five friends and make sure that you always have, you know, you always have three friends with you if you're playing survivor or you always have, four of your friends be a survivor if you're playing the killer. I don't know if that's a thing that they can, that they that they do in that game. They have like private servers or whatever. But something like that might be kind of interesting if I if that was like a guarantee or if they had like a I don't even know if they have like a tutorial to teach you how to play the game. Like um those are things I'm just curious about with that kind of game. But it's I feel like it's a game I would probably never play, but it's really interesting to watch other people play it. And I'm curious if you have games like that. It's like, well, I like watching someone play this game, but I would not play it myself. Just curious. Okay, what am I... Oh, right, I forgot I removed a bunch of my team. Because I was looking for her, Aleph. I guess I didn't catch one earlier. I could have sworn that I caught one earlier, but I guess I didn't. Either that or I didn't, I just, you know, scrolled right by it. Okay. Can I please find a Growlithe? That is not a Growlithe game. I'm just going to run away from these because they're kind of annoying to fight. Weird that the, of all the things that I would be running away from, it'd be a Farfetch'd. Like, all the other Pokemon that are around here are relatively easy to defeat. But Farfetch'd, I have to switch into Magneton, and the, the Farfetch'd is a substitute, and I just I don't want to waste my time fighting it. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with fighting more Cubones game, but I just, I really would like to be able to, like, find a Growlithe. Please, game, I beg of you. I know I've said that, like, 8,000 times over the course of this playthrough so far. Not really what I'm looking for here. I think Seal gives a lot of XP, but I'm just not going to bother with it. Okay, come on, game. You know what I want, what I really, really want. Just give me what I want, what I really, really want. I would really, really appreciate if you would do that. Sooner rather than later would also be nice. Okay. I'm officially going to stop leveling up Gyarados for the moment. Until I can find a Growlithe. I was really hoping that'd be a Growlithe. Just be like, oh, my search is over. Unfortunately, no. I don't really want to spend an entire episode looking for a Growlithe. If I have to, I will, but I'm hoping I won't have to. Although, to be fair, this episode has already been going on for like six and a half minutes or so. So, you never know. Maybe I'll fight Pokemon that are at least, uh, I can, I can guarantee to one shot. Although I'm running out of waterfalls, so maybe I shouldn't do that either. I don't know. 
We'll just we'll give it a we'll give it a little bit more time. How much more time? I'm not quite sure, but we'll give it a bit more time anyway. Uh, game. Come on, I've seen a Vulpix here. I know that fire types exist out here. For half a second, I thought that was a Nine Tails, and I thought, "How is that here?" Thankfully, I was I was wrong. I guess. Come on, game. I know that Growliths are out here. I know they're at an acceptable level. I would just like to catch one. That's all I ask. Game, why do you toy with my emotions? I don't even remember what... I don't even remember what um, Growlithe's moveset outside is a flamethrower. I think it has double edge, but then again, every Pokemon in this game has double edge. So, hmm. I will find one. I know they're here. I fought a bunch of them. One of them burned my Rhyhorn. Come on, game. I'm spending more time searching for this damn <laughs> Growlithe, and I I feel like I've spent more time searching for this Growlithe than I did leveling up um, Magikarp, even though I know that's demonstrably false. <laughs> because I spent, you know, nearly two episodes just in this recording session, and then I think two or th like two episodes before. There we go. Thank you. Okay, don't use a water type attack on it. You will knock it out immediately. Please don't knock it out with a tackle. Okay, great. That jeez. It's so much more damage than I expected it to do. All right, give it a try. I don't want to hit it again because. If I if I do tackle it again, and then it double edges me again for five thousand damage, then I don't want to get it to knock itself out. Considering how long it took me to even find one of these damn things. Okay. So Growlithe. Oh, Swift Ember Swift double edge and flamethrower. Okay, that's an okay move set. It's not an amazing move set, mind you, but it's fine. It's fine. It's acceptable. Now, part of me does want to sort of keep it around as a Growlithe for a little bit, just to maybe see if it learns another move. Part of me thinks that that's a stupid idea, and I should just go ahead and evolve it now, because why should I bother waiting? Because it's just going to be like, it might be like, it might be like Rhyhorn, like, oh, it learns a great move in 30 levels, but do I really want to leave it as a Growlithe for 30 more levels? Not really. I'm fine with just going ahead and evolving it now, because... It has, like, the one main move that I want on it, which is Flamethrower, which I know that there are stronger fire-type attacks. Now there's Fire Blast, but Fire Blast isn't accurate, and I don't like that. So, I only have one Firestone? Hold on. Do I have one in my inventory? And I just didn't realize it? What do I even have in here? Uh, oh, I do! Weird. I must have picked it up in the SSN. Okay, well, let's, um... The puppy has grown up. I'm okay with this. Cool. I maybe should have given Growl slash Arcanine a name. I know I should have given most of these Pokemon names. I feel kind of silly for giving uh, Ivysaur a name and then not giving anybody else a name, but, eh, you know. Okay, so that's... That's not bad. These stats are pretty good. They're not, um, they're not quite, like... Well, no, I mean, it's... Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me let me look at this for a second. So it has 66 attack, 52 defense, 54 speed, 52 special. Special is actually not that good. I thought it was going to be better than that. So uh, it is also three levels lower than uh, Gyarados. I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to take uh, my newly evolved Arcanine. I'm going to take it up north just for a bit. I just want to see, like, how it's going to do in battle against Pokemon slightly weaker than it. Although I could just go into... Well, no, I don't, I don't really want to go into um, go into the grass patch over to the to the east. 
because there are a bunch of uh, ground types, and I do not want to deal with those when I'm fighting with the fire type. Okay. Let me do one thing here real quick. Let me move Flamethrower up to the top. That works. Ah, oh, man. Really? Paralyze me? Damn it, Pikachu. I wanted to see how well Arcanine could do. I can't even fight more than one battle because he paralyzes me. Uh, okay. I do want to try other Pokemon games. I realize, that, I know I've said this like a bunch of times, but there are, you know, there are a bunch of other games out there that I do want to play. Not just like, not just like randomizers and things, but like other hacks and that sort of stuff. I have like a big list of, of hacks and stuff that I want to do. So I just, um, whether or not I end up finishing this game, oh man, so close to knocking out this Hitmonchan. I do want to intend to, I do intend to finish this game eventually. It just kind of depends on my, my gumption, I guess. Oh God, I'm running away from this thing. If I can? Okay, good. I don't want to have to fight another... Uh, I don't want to have to fight another... Ooh, actually, this could get me a lot of XP, I think. We'll see. It is weak to flamethrower. Nice. Ooh, 600 XP? Ooh, I just realized. That would be amazing for Rhyhorn also, because now that Rhyhorn has Rock Slide, uh, it would just destroy bug types. Like Butterfree and Beedrill and Scyther and all those things. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. I might try to level up Arcanine a couple. Uh-oh. Uh, can I run away? Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to fight myself, please. Okay. Hitmonchan, I think, gave like 490 or 500 experience or something like that. That's pretty good. If I could level up, oh, nice. I was gonna say if I could level up 460, okay. If I level up Growlithe or Arcanine one or two more times, we should be pretty good for a while. And Gyarados too. Actually, this, this area out here might be better for leveling up than the other area, even though the other area had higher level Pokemon. This level, this area has um, uh, more it has, like, Pokemon that are not, like, first-stage evolutions. Like, there's Nidorina, and there's Hitmonchans, and Butterfreeze, and things that can give out, like, a lot of XP. Let's see how much XP Beedrill can give out. Butterfree gave, like, what, 600 or something, I think? Let's find out. I don't think that crit mattered, but... 522, very nice. Very nice. I have a feeling Arcanine won't learn any moves because, you know, it was a it was a evolutionary stone thing. So it probably won't learn any moves, but that's okay because it still has one of the best moves in the game in Flamethrower. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. Okay, cool. We can one-shot um, Hitmonchan's. That's pretty darn good, I would say. I guess the question now is what do I want to have for my last Pokemon. Because there are definitely a lot of options. I don't... I'm going to try not to double up on types. Okay. Thing has Dig. Well, in that case... Because I, I don't... Like I said, I don't want to double up on typings. So I don't want to have, like, two ground types. I don't have two poison types. I may not even keep... I hate to say this. I might not even keep Ivysaur. If I can find a better grass type, I might switch. Like if there's like an Execute? Maybe if I can evolve that into an Executor? Then we might be talking. I don't know though. It really depends on what we can find and when we can find it. Okay, nice. So I don't know. It really just depends on a lot of things. I almost feel like grass is not super necessary. Well, it'd be good against, like... What would it be good against? 
I mean, you're good against rock, ground, and water, but I already have... Like, I have other Pokemon that are also good against those types. So I don't honestly know what to do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a weird thing to think about these kinds of things. Like, do I really want to use this particular Pokemon because it's weak to so many things? Like, Ivysaur, I like I like Ivysaur. I like Bulbasaur, Venusaur, all of them. I like them a lot. But they're weak to a lot of Pokemon. Makes it a lot harder to justify using them when you're playing a game that's extremely unfair to the player. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might I might actually have to end up dropping Ivysaur at some point, unfortunately. I'm actually going to not fight this Pikachu because it's not worth the it's not worth the uh the hassle. Yeah, okay. We'll fight more Nidorinas. I do like how quickly it is to level things up now. It's like, oh, you've got fully evolved Pokemon that can actually defeat things in one shot. That's great. It actually won't take 700 hours to, to like, to level things up anymore. It's kind of nice. I'm probably going to spend a... Well, I probably won't spend very much more time level grinding. Because I do think most of the Pokemon that I have are mostly okay for levels. I'd like to get uh, Arcanine up to, like, level 28 around the same as Gyarados. That would kind of be my my goal. Because then... Nice. Okay, one more level for Arcanine and then we're done. Because I would like to... St you know, I eventually want to try to make some actual progress in the game. And I realized that I spent um, like five total episodes just level grinding uh, after, you know, making a decent amount of progress. But, you know, there's sometimes where you have to stop and uh, smell the roses for a little while. So, I'm actually really glad that I went ahead and picked up this game because I was going to try to play a couple other games for this week and just neither of them were clicking for me. I talked about it earlier uh, in, a, in a previous episode, I guess I should say. And um, I am pretty glad that I did this. Okay, I'm really glad that missed. How much is it going to take to get Arcanine leveled up? Okay, it's actually it's it's a it's attack stat is nearly that of Gyarados's now too. Cool. Okay, twenty three sixteen. That's not bad. That's like eight nine battles maybe. Unless I run into a bunch of Butterfreeze, in which case it's probably going to be less than that. I don't remember what Hitmonlee's special stat is in Gen one. I know what special defense in Gen two was like monstrously high. It's like 115 or 110 or something. I may put a note on the screen that corrects me, but I'm pretty sure it has like a really high special defense stat. I could be utterly wrong though. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, good. We can one-shot both Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. That's fantastic. I don't know if I'll be able to do that with Gyarados, but I want to give it a try. I'd like to get a, f uh, a stronger physical attack on Gyarados if possible, because Tackle's just not going to cut it. Like, Bite would be good, Headbutt, Body Slam, even Double Edge. Okay, only a few more battles actually should do this, since we've run into mostly uh, much stronger Pokemon than before. As long as you don't run into any more Pikachus, I'm fine. Okay. I don't quite think this will level up Arcan... Oh, nice. Or will it? No, not quite. Where are we at? Okay, so like two more battles will do it unless I fight a Butterfree or a Beedrill. Or like eight Pikachus. Okay. And I will spend... Well, I don't, need, I don't think I need to really bother leveling up... Um, I was going to say I don't really need to level up Gyarados, but, well, I'm doing it now, sort of. I'm probably not going to worry about leveling Gyarados up too much more at this point. I think we're mostly fine with with our team. I think level 28 is a good level to to stop for, for grinding purposes. And we'll, we'll at least check out the SSN, see what is available. 
see what horrors are to be uh, to be wrought upon my sad and fragile body in the uh, the next coming battles. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. All right, can we get rid of this? Nope. Okay, we got poisoned. Can I at least level up off this? Wonderful. Okay, so Arcanine does have better, I think slightly better attack stat, but a worse uh, special stat than Gyarados at the same level. Although I have also been putting more points into um, into the D, not not DVs, the effort values for Gyarados than I have for Arcanine. Which, if you don't know how that works in Gen One, it's it's complicated because, <laughs> um, like, if you've heard of what effort values are, it basically in later generations it means that. Um, every time you fight a specific species of Pokemon, you get a certain number of what are called effort value points. It ranges from like one to three per battle. So I don't, I don't, I can't remember what any of them are for anything, but let's just say you like, as an example, like if you fight, if you defeat a Pikachu, then you get like one speed effort value or EV and you can only get like a maximum of like 512. Am I even, please correct me if I'm wrong about when I, when I'm mentioning all this stuff, but you can only get a certain number of, um, of, of effort values before Pokemon is basically done with that. Like you, you can only, yeah, you can only fight so many things and gain so many effort value points before you basically like, well, you're maxed out in, Gen 1, and I think possibly Gen 2, uh, I, f I fought, I think, the first two trainers here, right? Or the first two areas? Yeah, we fought them. There was no item. Um, in the first generation, instead, what happened is you would gain a number of points equal to each Pokemon that you fought, their base stats. So... If you fought a Pikachu, you would gain, I, I don't know how, I don't know Pikachu's base stats, but you gain like, you know, 40 HP EVs and, um, you know, 30 attack DVs or EVs and 30 defense things and whatever, you know, that that's basically how it worked. Um, what do I want to do here? I really need to level up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pass on using... Um, Ivysaur for now. And so you could, and I, I forget what the, what the max value was for, um, for like the different effort values in this game. I think it's like, I, I don't know, maybe like 65,000 or something. So, and you could max out all of your stats. Whereas in later generations, you could only max out at best two of them. So, Pokemon are like just stronger by default in the Generation 1 games. Oh, Leafstone. Okay. okay do I want to heal before I go in here? Or can I do take a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Let's just go. Okay. <laughs> Guy was facing south, but somehow saw me. I'm not complaining. Just, just laughing, that's all. Ugh. That's not good. Magneton, save me! Okay, I made a terrible mistake. Oh god, it critted. Can I... Can I heal? I should really just switch out, quite honestly, I know. Uh, I probably shouldn't use the Super Potion here, but I really should be healing up at this point. Because this Clamp is going to do a whole bunch of damage to me, and I don't like it at all. Oh, it was only a two-turn Clamp. That wasn't horrible. It was terrifying, but it wasn't horrible. Okay. Star you. I can't switch. Oh, it's faster. I should have known. I should probably not be leading with Arcanine, if I'm being honest here. Really shouldn't be doing that. 
Okay, good. Let's say 900 gold, I think, or gold. What is TM44? Is that rest? I don't know what it is. It's been so long since I've... Oh, it is rest. Wow, I'm surprised I got that right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to save outside of this room. Okay, that was the last room down here. Okay, so there were no items in here. At least that I can see. I do want to make sure that I at least grab the Body Slam TM. Oh, no. It's level 27, so it's not horrific, but it's still a slow bro. It probably has amnesia, right? Huh. I'm mildly surprised, actually, there. Okay, good. I figured it would have amnesia and it would just, you know, do that and ruin my day. <laughs> uh, ugh. This is not good. Oh, I think this thing might have Ice Beam. I think I may have made a terrible mistake. Oh, Dragon Rage. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad I tossed Rhyhorn out there because he's, he's got plenty of HP. He can take another hit. Oh, wow. That Dragon Air... Uh, Tank that hit a lot better than I expected it to. Okay. That's fine. Good. Fable. Oh, crap. I wish I had a fighting type. Uh, ugh. Okay. Hear me out. I'm tossing Ivysaur out here to get toxic on this thing. I'm glad I did, but this thing has Psychic, which is horrifying. Yikes. Okay, I'm just going to headbutt this. Oh, it's faster than I am. That was a speed tie. I am so lucky I got that. Uh, I am so glad I got that. Uh, I got the Toxic off. Although it's probably not going to matter because this Clefable is probably still going to destroy me. It probably has Thunderbolt, right? Yep. Oh, Thunder Wave. Okay. Not so good. Am I going to be able to make it through this fight? I feel like I'm not going to be able to. Okay, wow. I forgot that there was a special drop there. Oh, boy. Okay, that's all right. The Toxic is going to start building up. Yeah, Toxic's really building up now. What is Body Slam, too? Okay, so Body Slam, Psychic Blizzard, and Thunder Wave. That is such a... Dick move set. I'm gonna make it through. Barely. Whew. Alright. Gary getting a good amount of XP right there. Okay, note to self watch out for Cliff Ables. They are terrifying. Everything in this game is terrifying. Who am I kidding? Okay. I think that's probably a good spot to call it here. We've cleared out the first section of the SSN. Got a new TM, which I'm probably not going to use. Unless I desperately need to use it for some reason. And, uh, move on from there. My, um, my biggest hope right now is that I can still use the, uh, the Cinnabar Island Missing No Glitch to copy items. Because if I can do that, then I'm going to copy some TMs. So I'm going to have, like, Body Slam on everybody and Ice Beam on multiple Pokemon if I need to. But that's probably a long way away. So thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Pokemon Blue Kaizo. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more of this. I will talk to you all next time.